welcome to my channel i'm mark this is max mod and today is ecto monday everybody so we are going to be doing stage 127 of build the ecto one and it is the final stage that we are going to be working on this stretcher stroke gurney it has taken five stages to complete this that's a lot a lot of stages just for one bit of the car that's probably going to be sat in the car and you're not really going to see much but um it is what it is and yeah if we have to have five stages on it we have to have five stages on it but um it's not the best really is it anyway we better get started on this one and i'm desperate to finish it so with all that said let's get modeling <laughs> okay guys let's get started so first of all we've done enough of these now um we're going to put this wheel on the gurney i think i've lost count of how many i've done the, these now um but what we need to do we need to put it on with the fm screws now as we've known in the past these fm screws i've got a bit of a weird head on them and they go in with only really um either the screwdriver i'm using right now which is we got that this with for the delorean or the wow stick now the wow stick's great but it's very it's very heavy and chunky i would say and when you're trying to line up the holes for these wheels it's pretty much not really does the job but I find this screwdriver is spot on perfect. Now that's going in, but it's not going down. So now I've started that off, I am going to bring the wow stick over. Try and get this in. I hope I never have to deal with these FM screws ever again. Now, as you just saw, that located itself. So we'll get another FM screw in the other side. So yeah, it's good, but like I said, um, it's hard to line up the wheel. It's hard to line up the wheel with um, with it to start off with. okay that is in okay so with having the part round this way so we want this notch here to be going this way we're next going to get this bit here now if you've noticed on this bit there is like a little notch here is it the right bit yes it is the right bit it's like a little notch and that wants to be facing away from us as it goes on so it's going to go on like that and then that one's screwing in with an am screw so i'll get an am screw we've made so many of these now make sure the notch is the right way Yep, that is. Half a time, just... Nope, that notch is not on the right way. Now it is. It... It's a tough little build, is this? But we'll get there. Right, that's going in nicely. Okay, so that's now in place. I'm happy with that. What we need next is we need this arm here. Now, looking at this, this has to be facing like... that I believe like 
Right, please do not tell me I've got that on the wrong way. No, that's the right way. I think it is anyway. Um, but this one's screwing down with an ABM screw. Right, so ABM. Hands are a little bit shaky today. So I'm going to put the screw in. I don't know why it's a bit shaky. Ah, it's fiddly, it's very fiddly. So screw in first. Ah, uh, come on, it's not that hard to go through a hole. And then try and line this up. Oh, goodness. I mean, you want it to go on right, so, you know. Right, so that'll be first in that way. Right, let's uh, let's think a little bit ahead here. Let's uh, see if we've got any glue tack to spare. Because all it wants to do is keep, just keep flipping onto its side. So here we are, a bit of blue tack. That on there. Right, again, I'm having screwdriver problems because it doesn't want to work these screws. Not having the best day today. Does not want to go in the hole at all. It's all lined up. It just doesn't want to go in that hole at all. So I'll try the manual one. Got it a bit, but all it's wanting to do is just get. I think it's turning. Okay, I think that is correct. Needs to be a little bit more tighter. Right, I think that's as tight as I'm going to get it. Okay. You might just need a little slacking enough. Okay, that's be that's better. Right, okay. We're going to move the stretcher across. Because we're going to be putting this on now. And it's going to go on just here. 
right and then we need to get our little bit here put that on and then we need a dreaded FM screw <sighs> just knew that happened So that onto there, like, oh, come on, please, not today. A few moments later. Okay, guys, so that's now on there, just like that. Now, I'm not going to lie, I've had to edit this because that took me an absolute age to do. Um, basically, if I show you on this one, I had to file down this top bit here because it wasn't sitting in there properly um, and then I did get it in and then the thread on the bottom bit had gone so I've had to actually glue that in place it still moves thank goodness but yeah that took me a while anyway the next one we need to do is this one down here same process as before to try and hold that on there i have checked this one this one does fit could it just be a molding issue i don't know that one's gone in a lot easier as well just make sure this is nice and tight yeah i'm getting quite a few turns on that one okay that's now in place gosh okay Next one I need to do, we're just going to put the stretch to one side because we need this part here and this part here. Thicker end of this we need to bob into there and then we need to screw that in with an AP screw. Use the uh, bigger screwdriver for that one. So yeah, I had a bit of a nightmare with that catch but it's on now and yeah. I don't think um, <coughs> anybody wants to hear the colourful language of me uh, having a go at it. Try and keep things appropriate where we can. Okay, that's in there, just like that. Okay, the next thing to do is one bit I am not looking forward to is this dreaded bit again. And uh, we need to screw that in with an EP screw. So we'll get that on. Now, if I remember correctly, if I put the screw through like that, then if I put my thumb on the other end, holding the screw, I can start it off. And then continue with the screw at the other side. I will turn around and say though this is very tight. Okay, that's in there. Right. Didn't have any problems that time. Okay, so bringing the stretcher back across, we need to screw this into here. 
now I'm just double checking and triple checking then it's going to be done right yes it is so we need to bob this on here and we need to screw that down with four yp screws now probably at the end of this build we'll be sick of yp screws and the reason for that is basically we've got a truckload of them to do I'll just try and get this lined up properly. We should get one in. You should be able to get the rest in. <laughs> Tell you what, this stretcher has been a nuisance since day one really, I would say. You know, it's very fiddly, very intricate. I mean, it's very well designed, I'll give them that. But, uh, yeah. Very, very fiddly build. But something we're probably not going to see. A bit like the X-Wing engines. Okay, we're almost there. Suppose if you have it set up as a diorama, then yeah, yeah there is that, but. <coughs> okay, and then the next last thing we need to do is we need to connect this onto the outer bar. just like that and then we now have all four wheels all done thank goodness okay moving that again to one side because we've got a bit more to do we need to make some more proton pack holders and we kind of know how these go together now so here we go put that on there and we're using GP screws, tiny screws. You don't have to go too far with this, but you don't want to round the head off, not round the head off, break the thread. in them so that's almost another one done okay that's one modern and this is going to be the last one so line this up get a gp screw That one doesn't really want to go in. Oh. Does if you apply a bit of pressure. Right, last one. I think it might be a dodgy head on that one actually. Might just try and give this one a nod in the right direction again DeLorean screwdriver to the rescue okay right so what we need to do now is we're going to be fitting these onto the uh, stretcher so they're going to basically go on there's a locating tab on there 
And what we're going to be doing, we're going to be screwing these in with the YP screws. So let me bring a few across. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one. And then what we'll do is I'll do the other three and then show you the completed stretcher. That's one. And that's the third one in. That's the fourth one in. Okay, and then what we're just going to do is we're going to repeat that three times. So I'll do that and then uh, we'll come and have a look at it. A few moments later. Okay, and here we have it. We have the finished stretcher just look at it on there that is what it looks like and like i said we can move the feet down into place and there we go there we have it so it does work it does wheel around i give it that but what a pain over five issues to do to get to this stage and uh yeah okay um, it probably would work a bit more if I loosen some screws off so that the wheels came down once the stretch has been out, taken out. But I'm really, really not bothered about that at all. So that is issue, oh sorry, stage 127 complete. Well that's it for Ecto 1 today guys and that's it for stage 127 and that stretcher, that blooming gurney been very fiddly from day one but it's complete now now i do know in the next few sections what we're going to be working on is actually the roof rack for the ecto one so we're going to be working on the blue flashing lights that make a terrible noise but i'm going to have a look at a way of fixing them if i can and then there's also the uh uh obviously switching it on and everything we've got to hook it up so that, that is going to be a really interesting issue to do so and i'm really looking forward to it Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of any future videos. But as for always, guys, stay safe and bye for now.